Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in this celebration of the Holy Eucharist, we ask our Lord Jesus for the gift of the certainty of faith, so that even in the midst of fear, of uncertainty, we can be grounded on the faithful love of God. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sinfulness and ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, 
and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord, that striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. In a vision, I, Daniel, so during the night, the four winds of heaven stirred up the great sea, from which emerged four immense beasts, each different from the others. The first was like a lion, but with eagle's wings. While I watched, the wings were plucked. It was raised from the ground to stand and two feet, like a man and given a human mind. The second was like a bear. It was raised up on one side, and among the teeth in its mouth were three tusks. It was given the order of the war much flesh. After this, I looked and saw another beast, like a leopard, and its back were four wings like those of a bird, and it had four heads. To this beast dominion was given. After this, in the visions of the night, I saw the fourth beast, different from all the others, terrifying, horrible, and of extraordinary strength. It had great iron teeth, with which it devoured and crushed, and what was left entrampled with its feet. I was considering the ten horns it had, when suddenly another, a little horn sprang out of their midst, and three of the previous horns were torn away to make room for it. This horn had eyes like a man, and a mouth that spoke arrogantly as I watch. Thrones were set up, and the ancient ones took his throne. His clothing was snow bright, and the hair on his head as white as wool. His throne was flames of fire, with wheels of burning fire, a surging stream of fire flowed out from where he sat. Thousands upon thousands were ministering to him. The myriads upon myriads attended him. The court was convened and the books were opened. I watched then from the first of the arrogant word which the horn spoke until the beast was slain and its body thrown into the fire to be burnt up. The other beasts, which I also lost their dominion, were granted a prolongation of life for a time and a session. As the visions during the night continued, I saw one like a son of man coming and the clouds of heaven. When he reached the Ancient One and was presented before him, he received dominion, glory, and kingship. Nations and peoples of every language serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away. His kingship shall not be destroyed. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. 
Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord, praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord, praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. You springs, bless the Lord, praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord, praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. You dolphins and all water creators, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. All you birds of their air, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. All the beasts wild and tame, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples a parable. Consider the fig tree and all the other trees. When their buds burst open, you see for yourselves and know that summer is now near. In the same way, when you see these things happening, know that the kingdom of God is near. Amen. I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away but my words will not pass away. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, our readings today talk about the experience of fear. Minsan ho naman siguro, nakaramdam na ho tayo ng matakot. The feeling of being afraid, of being unsure, the feeling of worrying. This is an authentic human experience as our readings today teach us. For example, in our first reading today, from the vision of Daniel, we see that he had a vision that is worrying and fearsome. Nakakatakot yung kanyang mga nakita. He saw in his vision Beasts, animals who come to devour the world. But my dear brothers and sisters, the vision also teaches Daniel that fear 
is uncertain. Fear is not sure. Fear is temporary. Kaya nga kung mapapansin ninyo, yung nakita ni Daniel sa isang pangitain, yung takot ay sinasalamin ng iba't ibang mga hayop. Mga leyon na may pakpak. Leopards who have wings. These imageries tell us that fear is not sure. That fear is temporary. That fear is uncertain. In the midst of the vision of fear, in the midst of the experience of fear, Daniel saw another vision, the vision of faith. And faith is characterized by the Son of Man coming in the clouds. Kung ang takot ay nakita niya sa pamamagitan ng mga nakakatakot na pangitain, ang pananalig at pananampalataya sa Diyos ay nakita niya sa pangitain ng isang anak ng tao. Dumarating hindi nakakatakot, kundi dumarating ng mayroong kasiguraduhan sa pananalig. My dear brothers and sisters, the vision of Daniel teaches us that in our experience of fear, there is always an experience of faith. And we will see that the experience of fear is always uncertain. But the experience of faith is always more certain than fear. Mga minamahal na kapatid, tinuturo po sa atin ng ating mga pagbasa ngayong araw na ang ating karanasan ng takot at pangamba ay tinuturo sa atin na ito ay hindi permanent. Ito ay pansamantala at hindi ito sigurado. Mas sigurado, mas tiyak ang ating karanasan ng pananampalataya at pananalig sa Diyos. In our gospel reading today, this is also the message of Jesus to His disciples. He said, All these things, heaven and earth, will pass away, but my words, my kingdom, who is to come, will not pass away. Jesus teaches us that faith is always more certain than fear. Tinuturo ni Jesus sa atin na sa gitna ng pangamba, sa gitna ng takot at karanasan ng takot, ay naroon din ang karanasan ng pananampalataya at pananalig. At ang karanasan ng takot ay pansamantala lamang ang karanasan ng pananalig sa Diyos ay mas matibay at panghabang buhay. My dear brothers and sisters, let us choose today what we want to experience. Do we want to succumb to an experience of fear that is not uncertain, that is uncertain? Or do we want to subscribe to the experience of faith that is always more certain than fear. My dear brothers and sisters, let this celebration of the Mass be an experience of faith. A faith that is sure, a faith that is certain. Sana po sa pagsisimba nyo ngayong tanghali, pawiin ng Diyos anuman ang takot at pangamba. Ipaalam sana at iparamdam sana ng Diyos sa inyo sa misang ito na ang nararamdaman ninyong takot at pangamba ay pansamantala 
at hindi magtatagal, mas sigurado, mas pangmatagalan ang pananalig na ibibigay niya. Amen. Please stand. The Lord Jesus has called us to watch for the day of His return. Let us come to the Father in prayer, watching and waiting for His return. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may respond to the call for conversion and renewal. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That people of goodwill may work together to put an end to war and hatred, oppression and injustice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may increase our awareness of the presence of Christ among the poor and the suffering people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may be given strength and hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our friends and relatives who have died may experience everlasting joy in the company of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Almighty God, listen to our prayers. Open our eyes to the present, to your presence all around us, and make us closer to you each day. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the sacred offerings which at your bidding we dedicate to your name, and in order that through these gifts we may become worthy of your love, grant us unfailing obedience to your commands. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, 
His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son. Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, 
we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art, art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not, not worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be parted from you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We would like again to invite everyone to join us in uh, the festivities as we are visited by the image of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. The image will be arriving this evening here at the Manila Cathedral and we will begin the visit by the celebration of Vespers or evening prayer together with the Vincentian family. And uh, the evening prayer tonight at 6 p.m. is open to everyone. You can come here and visit the Manila Cathedral and join us in the evening prayers. Tomorrow, the feast day of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal, our feast day mass will be at 7.30 a.m. to be led by uh, one Vincentian priest, Father Choi Lin Hoko. And uh, we are inviting again everyone to join us today, uh, tomorrow for the feast day mass. And the whole day of Sunday also, the image will remain here at the cathedral for everyone who may want to visit and pray in front of the image. All of these celebrations will still be uh, broadcasted online on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Mm -hmm.